Good morning. Welcome to our meditation in the meadow on another rainy morning. Rain is kind of my theme for the day. Um, as much as we think about rain and having to shelter in place, even if we didn't have to shelter in place, um, we tend to stay a little more inside, out of the weather. And yet, there is a beauty in gray, cloudy, rainy days like this, with the mist and the lushness of the earth. Mindful of that, let us take a moment to center ourselves that we might be more open to the sacred presence within and around us. A reading this morning from Psalm 72, adapted by Nan C. Merrill in her book, Psalms for the Praying. May we know oneness with you as long as the sun endures, as long as the stars shine throughout all generations. May we acknowledge you in the rain falling on the fields and in the meadow, like showers that water the earth. In our day, may justice flourish and peace abound throughout all the nations. May every heart open to your love from sea to sea, from the river of life out to the universe. May fears that paralyze the people rise up from the depths into your light. Blessed be the beloved, the one who dwells in our hearts, who guides us along the way. Blessed be you who come in, na in the name of love. May your glory fill the earth. Amen and amen. As the psalmist says, may we acknowledge you in the rain falling on the fields, up here in the meadows, in our yards, wherever, blessing us, nourishing the earth, and bringing it to life. And the meadow is full of life, so green, so lush. The trees are blooming. The apple trees are beautiful this year up here in the old orchard. I was thinking of the rain and Mary Oliver has a wonderful poem. Last night, the rain spoke to me is the t title of her poem. And I wanted to share it. Last night, the rain spoke to me slowly saying, what joy to come falling out of the brisk cloud to be happy again in a new way on the earth. <clears throat> That's what it said as it dropped, smelling of iron, and vanished, like a dream of the ocean into the branches and the grass below. Then it was over, and the sky cleared. I was standing under a tree the tree was a tree with happy leaves, <clears throat> and I myself, and there were stars in the sky. There were also themselves at that moment, at which moment my right hand was holding my left hand, which was holding the tree, which was filled with stars and the soft rain. Imagine, imagine the wild and wondrous journeys still to be ours. <clears throat> the rains come and they nourish the earth. 
And God's love, like the rains, nourish our hearts and our lives. And as the rains nourish the earth and God's love nourishes us, we reach out. Blessing as the rain blesses us, others by sharing God's love. May you experience that this day, on rainy days, on sunny days, on spring days, summer days, on good days and days when we struggle. The rain keeps falling and God's love endures forever. Let us pray. Gentle me, Holy One, into an unclenched moment, a deep breath, a letting go of heavy experiences, of shriveling anxieties, of dead certainties that softened by the silence, surrounded by the light, and open to the mystery, I may be found by wholeness upheld by the unfathomable, entranced by the simple, and filled with the joy that is you. Amen. Friends, on this beautiful <coughs> spring day, <coughs> excuse me, remember, love has the power to heal all that is broken within us and around us even in the midst of this pandemic, mending us in heart, mind, and spirit as individuals and as a people, reconciling us with a heart of love. May the blessing then of love heal us and strengthen us in patience, understanding, empathy, and compassion, and caring for the whole of humanity. So go in peace. Be at peace and love and serve the world. And wear a mask when you're out in public. Remember to wash your hands. We will get through this together. And God is with us. Amen.